concept and, and you know, we're not 100% sure exactly what's gonna go where, or what's going to be what, but I wanted to give y'all a representation of what some of these density changes look like, what some of these code changes look like. Um, we're gonna come back before y'all in a couple of months um, to have the master plan changed. Um, you know, we did wind up taking some of the apartments that were over here and actually wind up creating another park. So we moved some of that stuff over there. Um, we added some age-restricted housing in uh, in the back, and this would be representative of, of what some of those smaller lots would look like with alleys um, and just some, some uh, residential non-alley uh, type homes over there. And then uh, we took those apartments that were all sitting right there. It would be a much better um, location to put them here in front of these power lines uh, to kind of create that barrier. So as you're driving down 29, you're not really seeing them. They kind of disappear. And so you can really, um, you know, you can really enjoy the beauty of, of kind of what's here without the other stuff behind it getting in the way. Um, we're hoping to add a, a, a small pond in, in the middle as well. Um, as we've been able to kind of use the topography of how this lays, uh, and, and over here when we created this second park, um, this is going to be a layered uh, or a tiered park, and, and we're hoping to build in stadiums uh, <coughs> seating into the banks as they raise up. And I think we can probably accommodate three, four hundred people per tier, um, so that Amherst County hopefully at some point will will be able to host some some small concerts down here, and we'll be able to use this park as a venue for for that. We're really hoping that this kind of becomes the heart of of the development where. Kids can play in the park and their parents can get some ice cream up there at the top of one of those uh, little shops, and, you know, coffee shops and all that.